this is um, the captured A9 by the Italians in October 1940. The first British, the first in Britain's series of fast cruisers was the Mark 1 A9. This vehicle was designed by Vickers Armstrong under tight financial constraints in the mid-1930s and was far too lightly armored to be effective in combat. Unusually, it had two machine gun turrets to the left and right of the driver, each housing a machine gun. Because they were so cramped, however, these turrets often became death traps for the gunners. At the time, the Mark I went into production. Its hydraulic turret traversing gear was extremely advanced as was a ventilation system for the fighting compartment. The running gear was robust and capable of coping with rough terrain and was later used in slightly modified form on the Valentine. The A9 was not a success, however, and production was canceled after just 125 had been manufactured. The last A9 was used in North Africa. Statistical data. Combat weight. 14.3 tons. Crew, 6. Dimensions in inch in inches. Length, width, height. 228, 98, 104. Engine, AEC inline, 6-cylinder, water-cooled, 9,600 cc, 150 horsepower. Power-weight ratio, 10.4 horsepower per ton. Maximum speed, 25 miles per hour road. Maximum speed, 15 miles per hour cross country. Range, 150 miles road. Armament, 2 pounder cannon in turret. One machine gun. Two point three inch machine gun, Vickers machine guns in small turrets. Armor. 0.2 to 0.5 inches. Fording depth, 31 inches. Now I'm going to bounce to a drawing I made. So on YouTube, I've been called the out-of-focus expert and an idiot for my drawings. But I'm going to have to uh, present a thumbnail sketch to show three-dimensionality. So here's a three-dimensionality of the... Excuse me, UK Mark 1A9. So here's the turret, the primary turret, and here's the two little turrets up front, the death traps of the UK Army in World War II. And except for like um, the Soviet Union, this is this is the only uh, multi-turret tank in the war. You know, there was the T-28, T-35, and the A-9 all had more than one turret on the tank hull. Now, the crew is six, so let's put the crew in. We gotta, we, gotta, we have to start with the death trap There's a guy in a death trap. Here's a guy in a death trap. And then the driver. And then, um... Six crew members. All right, we'll say commander, gunner, and radio operator. That's a lot of guys. Six Brits in a 14.3 ton tank with death traps. And uh, we'll put the AEC six inline, uh, pardon me, AEC inline six cylinder water cooled engine here in the back. She's torquing and torquing and torquing and running these drive sprockets back here. Here's another image. France, June 1940, a destroyed A9. So some kraut came down on this and knocked it out. 
So you see the uh, the primary turret in reverse position, right there, and the gun is pointing back. So drive sprocket, the Valentine style or A9 style road wheel assembly. Here's this image, capture tank image, and death trap image.